Welcome back to Erison Gaming. I'm Rush, and this is DCS 1.5 with the Toby IX. So this is a bit of a follow-up video from uh, the other videos that I've put up that were more of a review. Uh, this video is more just of a work in progress and just showing how the software and hardware I'm interacting with it and um, uh, how I'm managing using it in the flight sim. And also, uh, I found this uh, software that I can use as an add-on, which gives us this overlay. And uh, that dot that you see on the screen is actually uh, exactly where I'm looking, or what I'm focusing on. So here, just as a quick example, I'll just show you this aircraft that just flew over, is I'm not physically having to move my eyes around the screen to track that target. I am literally just focusing my uh, eye point on the target that I want to look at, and the software does the rest. So hopefully this will clear up uh, a few questions that people have, like am I like moving my eyes around the screen to track targets, or can I just focus on targets? I can show you that again here just with these trucks, is I can uh, look at the truck there on the left, and then the two trucks, and then the far truck. Um, I'm not having to track the screen to the right. So see that truck there right where the propeller is? I'm not having to use my focal point to look right to bring the camera over to that truck, I can just look at the truck. But as I've been saying, the issues with the, the software and the hardware is when you start going behind the wing. So it's not a simple peripheral view behind the wing. So for me to look behind the wing, I have to track my eyes past where I want to look and then bring the focal point back. So that's one of the issues, but I, hopefully this will illustrate it a little bit better. But other than that, what I'll do is I'll just run through a startup procedure, just so you can see, looking through all the gauges and stuff like that, like cockpit flow. Um, I'll take off, and uh, I've got some rockets uh, strapped to the aircraft, and uh, we'll go try and get some ground targets. I'll cut to the ground targets, just so we're not flying along straight and level for too long. And uh, the server we're in today is Burning Skies, their um, air superiority mission 1.5. Uh, so, hopefully I won't get shot at straight away. Uh, someone's buzzing me. <laughs> Always a good bit of fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do love a good uh, low buzz. Anyway, I'll run through a startup and uh, we can see how it works here. So, go battery and gen on. Fuel on. Ignition on. Set prop. Set throttle. Fuel boosters on. And we'll set primer for three seconds. Maybe a little bit longer. There are some issues with the startup with this aircraft at the moment. There we go, start cover up. And starter, we have rotation, and we wait for fire. Give it a quick square to prime. There we go. Keep the primer on just until it clears. There we go. Another example how I could just track targets. This is really good. I don't know who these guys are, but uh, <laughs> they're having a little bit of fun, so whatever. Alright, we'll close up the canopy and um, we'll taxi on out of here and tidy up the rest of the startup here. Uh, also, we'll go ahead and get my rockets turned on now, just so I don't have to worry about them later. Turn the guns and gun sight on. I know this is not good procedure, because I've uh, got live weapons on the ground. And I'll set trim with the HOTAS as we go. Ram control up, and we'll bring the flaps up. And we'll just track both wings, make sure they come up together. Always a good check to make before we're going anywhere. ASIM flaps is deadly in this aircraft. And yeah, flaps are up. Alright, let's taxi on out of here. Now we'll clear right and clear left. Can't clear center because there's a great big engine in the way. Uh, I see two aircraft at the uh, far end of the runway there. We'll just have to make sure that uh, we don't try and take off into them. They could be AI and they don't really care. They'll just line up on the runway and do whatever they want. lining up now. So yeah, the other thing is, is I'm using a, a different software suite this time, so uh, if there are any issues with the video or uh, the quality is bad, please just let me know in the comments and um, I'll revert back to uh, different um, software and uh, hopefully we get good quality video out of it. 
Yeah. Here we go. I don't know what that other guy is doing. It looks like he's somewhere in between crashing and taking off. It looks like he's just given up. That is a uh, pretty struggle takeoff there. Pretty handy having all these aircraft flying around me in circles though, so. Anyway, flaps are up. Um, where are we rolling? I'll set trim on my throttle here. And we'll line up. And slowly start increasing the power. Now we'll keep going all the way through to 60 inches, just because we got a load on today. Left there, we'll slowly bring it back. Power, and we do have enough speed. And wheels up. And we'll stay low here just because I know there are other aircraft around. And lights out. And we'll set max continuous. RPM. There we go. Well, I'll just fly this coastline here until I know where the ground targets are. The um, I'll go for the artillery there and hopefully sneak my way around any enemy. There are a few guys in this server here, so I'd rather not get blown up immediately. Anyway, we'll come back to uh, some ground targets there and uh, hopefully we'll get a good view there of how the IX works with moving targets from the cockpit. Thanks. So of course uh, when I say I'm just going to try and sneak out of base and go get some ground targets, I immediately get blown up. So I've climbed up to altitude, picked up some uh, energy here and uh, there's a few targets uh, just over here over this uh, little town uh, below me here. Um, the aim of this is not necessarily to shoot anyone down but just to show uh, the abilities of uh, the software in air combat and how easy it is to move around the screen and track targets. So I see two silver winged aircraft there and one black wing. I am going to assume this is going to be our German. I definitely have the energy advantage here. Two other aircraft here, but as you can see, I am... So after a long low-level pursuit, we ended up close to the enemy base where other aircraft joined the fight. Uh, I ended up latching onto the back of this 109 here, and the fight wasn't uh, very successful, but it should give you a good view of the exact point where I'm focusing on the screen during a fight. I need to regain some energy, but uh, I don't really have the horsepower to do that at the moment. Some friendly Mustangs here. And our new player is just slotted in on the back of another friendly Mustang. Friendly Mustang's going defensive. And the German laser beams are coming out. Thankfully, he's allowed me to pick up some energy here. a friendly Mustang on my tail there. Nothing to be worried about. This is a 109. I need to be very scared here. Yeah, looks 
like he's target fixating. A few little hits. Now he's finally realized I'm here. He flies well. Right about now we should just be extending, not slowing down. I see what you're trying to do. I think he's got the upper hand here. I hope I've got a friend. I have to keep pulling flaps out here. Oh, I can hear him. Oh yeah, he's right there. Quick snap roll over. I don't think he can follow that. Probably keep out rolling him here. And pilot snipe, of course, because he has laser beams. Anyway, I might tidy up the video here. That was probably a good little look. Uh, sorry, I didn't get any awesome kills there, but uh, that guy definitely outflew me. He um, slowed down at the right time, pulled me into a rolling scissors, and uh, I really should have just uh, should have been my turn to extend away there or look for friends. Looks like my only friends that were around here at the time were AI because uh, they were not helping whatsoever. But anyway, hopefully this video will uh, shed some light on how it actually operates and. Uh, how you actually can scroll around the screen and uh, see where your focal point is and how it's used. So hopefully you guys like it and uh, if you have any other video requests or uh, anything like that please let me know. I will point out I'm going to do a second video today, uh, a, a Raymond from DCS, uh, the DCS forum, sorry, he um, put up a post there um, pointing out some other software called Project Iris which actually allows you to use your mouse um, you know, it converts your eye movements to mouse movements uh, with clickable um, actions with blinking and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a play around with that today and try and get a video out and uh, see what it's like in DCS. I had a bit of a go with it and uh, it doesn't look like it has the fidelity but I could be wrong. Um, th by that I mean I don't think it has the fidelity to click on individual switches but I'll bring that up in the next video and uh, uh, thanks for listening and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks.